Foreign direct investments was a topic raised on Face the Nation last night. Let's have a look at some of the excerpts from the program. Was this really FDI? Yes, the investment is 20. So where is, five million? Where is Senna going to get 26 million dollars from? Well, uh, did did you did you ask for proof of funds no, from Senna? No, no, no. With, with any investment application that comes in, we not only don't ask for the proof of funds. This has been a trend always from 1978. We don't ask for proof of funds, but we gave them a implementation period. If they don't implement the uh, the project. Meaningfully, during a certain period, we cancelled that project. But this plant that was that is going to be set up in Sri Lanka is originally for the Sri Lankan market. Recall what they said: we are going to bring back the GSP plus. We are going to have a Volkswagen factory. We are going to have this, that, so many foreign investments, FDIs. Now we see a situation: not a cent of FDI is coming into this country through this uh, uh, through this Volkswagen project. I mean, they have given the land for the project. The land is allocated. And they are not sure where the FDI is coming from. Whether it is a local investment or whether it is a foreign investment. I also have experience in going to the BOI to get a piece of land to do a project. You have to do everything, establish your credibility of showing the proof of your availability of funds to do that. So there is a different amount of tax paid for a complete vehicle when it's imported and there is a different amount of tax paid when the vehicle comes in parts. What if someone raises a point, finger at the BOI and says that this is a scam carried out by the BOI to bring in people, bring in parts to evade taxes. Now the same thing, the principle whatever you are saying applies to any other vehicle manufacturer also. Now the, for instance, there another car manufacturer which is not a world renowned name is peculiar only to Sri Lanka. They have been uh, assembling these vehicles on the same basis, on the same basis as you are now referring to, for the last 10 years. Nobody has any questions about it. But there is a High Court case uh, order given that this should indirectly say that this is tax fraud. In the year 2006, there is a High Court judgment against the ma vehicle manufacturer. Not I, so don't, famous, like I have said. no information about the judgment they are referring to, but as far as I know, it still continues on the same basis.